God's call for introverts. There is such beauty in what God has created. He is the God of omnificence, which means he is all creative. God is even the creator of creativity himself. And part of this is seen through physical aspects, differentiation between plants and animals, uh, differentiation between even human beings. No human being is the same or looks alike. And this can also be found in giftings as well as personalities. And if the whole world was made up of extroverts, uh, that would be very much draining. That, and it is important to have also introverts. There's a beautiful balance between that. And so God's call for introverts is not always necessarily driven or pertaining to uh, leadership roles, although it can be. Um, it definitely can. Some of the greatest leaders were introverted. They weren't necessarily uh, desirous of attention from other people, but they were just willing to serve and follow the Lord. But a specific calling that God has for introverts, I truly believe, is prayer. And this prayer can be in the manifestation of praying for those, praying for those who are extroverted and going out and being, you know, missionaries on the field. And, and again, this isn't to say that introverts aren't missionaries or can't be in teaching roles or pastor roles. There are many who are. But I think there's a specific calling for prayer for introverts because it's maybe more difficult, depending upon the introvert, more difficult to connect with people. People's skills might not be uh, as good as others, and they may find it very uncomfortable and difficult to socialize. This, nonetheless, is not an excuse to remain at home just because you're that way. Introverts are that way. But there's a specific call to pray for those who are extroverted and going out in the fields because the ministry of prayer is just as important, if not more important, than the actual work being done because we know that prayer is an intimate uh, communication with God. It's a ministry that is not seen by other people. We maybe have bumped into people that pray for hours and hours and hours a week whom we would, would never, never even guess that was the case because they don't do it for show and tell. They're not as the Pharisees um, who just uh, go out into the streets and utter prayers that they memorize and speak eloquent, extravagant words that have no life. They are those who are shut up with God. They are shut in without anyone else knowing, without distractions, and they are praying. And there's a specific uh, ministry of prayer, I believe, for introverts to pray for the body of Christ, to pray for those who are active in the Lord's work. Because prayer is, again, just as important as the work and activity itself. And if introverts are praying for those out in the field and doing the ministry work, they themselves are are increasing the profitability of those going out in the field without even maybe those knowing. It, there could be people uh, in a church or maybe there's a certain introvert that's supporting a ministry of someone and they just continually pray for that person. That person doesn't even know them, perhaps. But nonetheless, their prayers are touching that person and increasing the value and maybe outreach and the humility of that person doing what they are called to do without that person even knowing that that introvert is, is praying for them. Again, there are introverts in, in many different positions. We're, we're just talking about introverts who are very uncomfortable with people, find it very difficult to just go out and socialize. But again, there's a special ministry that can be had uh, in prayer for those who are out in the ministry and that some of these introverts have a very difficult time doing and maybe aren't necessarily doing because, again, prayer is just as great a ministry as the work and activity done. So may we just continue to, and no matter who we are, whether we're introverted or extroverted, may we pray for all people, may we love all people, um, and just because certain things are more difficult for us doesn't mean that what God has gifted us with, the opportunities and the callings, is better than other people's. It, it may be deemed as is more profitable based upon earthly standards, but God's standards are not our standards. And if, as long as it is done with a pure heart, God will reward that. And there is a specific and special calling of prayer for those who are introverted and find it very difficult to connect with people because they can pray for those who do not find it difficult to connect with people and pray that God's gospel message and the word and profitability for God's kingdom would continue to be expanded and outreached because 
no good biblical ministry was ever done with pure intent and truly for God's glory without the ministry of prayer by those uh, who are either in the ministry or those who uh, are praying for those in the ministry because we know that prayer is what can move mountains. And we know it's not by power or might, but it is by God's Spirit. And if God's Spirit is leading us to pray, certainly His Spirit will continue to move through that prayer and through the lives of those who are out in the field doing uh, the Lord's work for God alone.